So unfortunately in 2020, the headlines are usually negative news cycles and everyone's pinching pennies more than ever because many are unemployed due to COVID and many like myself who are working also are curious if they'll have a job the next day. But this video, it's not about doom and gloom. It's actually a spiritual journey about reinvigorating my love for VR games other than Pavlov and realizing that VR games are about enjoying the moment on a game that normally wouldn't get a lot of attention or clicks. Let's see if due to an Oculus sale, people are interested, obviously you'll be the judge. But during these times of pinching pennies, I obviously am and am scrounging the Steam store for every deal I can to spend a little more wisely instead of looking for haptic devices for games best played behind closed doors. That way I can save a few dollars on Steam and spend that money instead donating it to the pesky cashier at PetSmart asking me to save another cat or dog every time I go there daily, and I will always keep doing that. However, Oculus, being the kings of marketers, the ones who understand the games that you might be passing on that are three plus years old, that they discount 3% to 20% that lower you back in, well, they've done it again. But you see, Oculus understands its client base with this email circulating around with a game that obviously is targeting like-minded white males like myself, who want the feeling of money and superiority while not really having either and playing VR in our pajamas while our significant others look on with confusion and dismay. There is nothing more that I could want than exploring the immersive open oceans as I look down upon every dinghy who attempts to overcome me. In all seriousness though, I do appreciate every discount there is, no matter how big or how small. I know some of us reel back in disgust when a discount is only 3% and a couple dollars off and you have every right to be disgusted, but in reality, no developer owes us any discount and the fact that they do is a nice blessing because in reality, they're pinching pennies themselves, making sense on every dollar. And most of the time, their hard work and love is all that's the show for their game, not any actual profits. But if you look at the deal for Regalia VR, I would be remiss if I didn't buy this game at this discounted rate because not buying this game at the discounted rate is literally leaving money on the table and fun to be had. To prepare a little bit for this game, I of course binge watched the entirety of season one of the reality show Below Deck, listened to every album of Eminem, popped my collar, and referred to the common retail store Target as Target, all in the name of evoking my stereotypical whiteness and fitting in with the sailing crowd. I even looked up and studied a bit of maritime law where I learned that if you're 12 miles away from land and not on a boat, you can do literally anything you want. It's basically the purge out there so long as you're not in a boat. I'm also not really sure what's considered a boat, but I just envisioned Somali pirates on a rubber ducky inflatable, hijacking commercial fishing boats with the law scratching their groins with no power to stop the duck army. But that's just a beer in two stream. If you don't like this video, at least you'll learn something and we can call that a win because maritime law is some of the most fascinating, weirdest laws out there, the true wild west. So with that said, I hit the open waters and what can only be described as a life-changing experience of freedom, salt, and adventure. Now I do not claim to be an expert sailor. My nautical experiences basically revolve around trolley motors, boathouses, and uh, cruising the open oceans on an inflatable with a rum ham, but I do admit this cannot miss sail it started out with a bang with a fantastic introductory scene where I found myself yearning for some rum and humming some damn good Pirates of the Caribbean theme songs. I know I might sound sarcastic through the majority of this, but I'm being sincere as honestly the looks and feel are not bad and actually having some fun here. I spent the majority of my time learning the ins and outs of a fast and furious style of boating that I hope to bring to the multiplayer aspect of this game at a later date, but in reality I'll probably end up grabbing a few tall boys and coasting around the islands looking for a crack in a megalodon. In all seriousness, to give a bit of sincerity here, I went into this video fully ready to blast this game as a super niche product, horribly discounted and probably a money grab by the developers to make every cent they could by putting out that lore of incentive for those again who were then putting this off because of that extra dollar they could save through a sale. By the end of it though, while this is a pretty expensive game for someone just casually looking for a boat sim, I found myself feeling a bit calmer after playing and it was nice to not pull a gun out on endless enemy hordes or slap around my companions in Skyrim VR. In fact, what was going to be a play in under two hours and return to sender game has ended up staying as part of my library that I may peruse the open seas when I'm feeling that urge for adventure and want a so-called spiritual VR journey. I of course find myself playing the same VR games over and over again. I put most of my time, probably 99% into Pavlov VR. And at this point I play it so much that in a team deathmatch setting, it becomes 
sort of borderline bullying. But VR is not about just your traditional gaming, about running and gunning, getting through the story to each plot point and each story-driven moment. In VR, you should slow down, enjoy the small things, actually look at the flowers, the rocks, because the small details really add up in the VR scene. Similar to like seagulls and the wave of sounds in this game. I mean, you look at Half-Life Alex and everyone going absolutely nuts over the adult beverage bottles now having liquid physics. People aren't going nuts because you can do that or that it is coded that way. They're not. They're freaking out because it's one step closer to blurring the lines between gaming and real life, which is the VR dream. And the more and more VR games become realistic with these fine details, that line becomes more blurred and blurred, and we all enjoy our VR experiences a little bit more. So whether this game is for you or not, or this $1, 3% sale of this game matter to you, it opened my mind to play more games and I had a good time which led me to make this fun video. If you've got some games you want me to try out or some good recommendations, let me know down in the comments. Also leave a like to support this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon, that way you never miss an upload. And as always, see you in the next one, VR Space Cowboys.